Hello everybody and welcome to an Astro Soul Elite video. Today we're going to be seeing what would happen if we put every single moon in the solar system and then pit it up, it up against the earth. I wonder what would happen and so we're just going to find out right now. So first of all we're going to start with our own uh, moon here. Then we're going to just put in uh, Mars's two moons which you don't really add very much because they're uh, you know like only six kilometers <laughs> but now we're gonna get into the bigger moons because the rest of the planets that have moons have really big moons like Io Io is bigger than the moon so I'm gonna slam it in there come over to Europa Europa's next boom and it made everything just a lot bigger Callisto wins against uh, that new Io then we're going to go to Mimas, Enceladus, Tithus, Dione, Rhea. We're going to save Titan, Lapitus, Titania, Triton, Sharon, Nakama, and Hylana, and Dysnomia. Wow, okay. Alright. And now it can actually go up against some of the bigger moons in the solar system. So let's go with Titan. Boom. Okay. Yeah, that just got a lot bigger. And now we have Ganymede here. Alright, so that is all of the big moons in the solar system. But since we can't really add all the smaller ones, we're just going to throw in all the asteroids too. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> so let's uh, let's just add all of these in here. All of these are pretty small, and then you get to stuff like Ceres, Pallas, uh, Vesta, Sedna, Humea, Eries, Make Make, and then you have a couple more asteroids here. Apothis, Scott Manley, and Neowise. Alright, awesome. So now we have the the size of pretty much every planet in this I mean every moon in the solar system. But for good measure we're gonna add in another random moon. Alright, so now we have all of this together. And you can see that this is bigger than the Earth. So, I mean, let's just pit them up against each other. We're going to have Earth way over here, so we can kind of watch it. Earth is accelerating towards this new planet, which is actually Callisto. But the funny thing is that despite being bigger than the Earth, it is less dense and thus lighter than the Earth by 77% or 77% the mass of Earth. So everybody on Earth starts to accelerate really quick. Everybody's getting whiplash, no doubt about that. Here it comes. Here it comes. So in theory, Earth should swallow Callisto, or our new planet, because it's more, it has more mass, but then again, Callisto is just larger. There we have, there we go. We have touch. They are fusing together. The average temperature on Earth is 300 degrees Celsius. What's the maximum? What's the maximum? go over to surface oh my goodness okay so the maximum temperatures 3,700 degrees Celsius 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit almost and they slowly fuse together and you could just see this like wave of death and destruction slowly creeping across the surface and now oh oh is earth gonna eat is Callisto gonna eat earth it did so now, for all the solar balls lovers, you can tell what would happen if there was actually a moon revolution and they actually went up against the Earth. And that is crazy. But then again, you go to the planets that they're orbiting and they just stand no chance. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, press the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.